a Viking-era ring inscribed with the words, For Allah, found in the grave of a woman who was buried 1,200 years ago in Birka, 25 kilometers west of modern-day Stockholm. The ring constitutes a unique material evidence of direct contact between the Vikings and the Abbasid Caliphate. A 1,500-year-old arrow was discovered in Norway, nestled between the rocks. The archaeologists working for the Secrets of the Ice project have found more than 200 arrows that have melted out of the ice in the last 15 years. The earliest are 6,000 years old. Over 10,000 years ago, a woman made two separate trips carrying a toddler. The path they walked is in New Mexico's White Sands National Park, and it stretches for one and a half kilometers, consisting of more than 400 footprints. In Kyoto, Japan, there are five temples that have blood-stained ceilings. The ceilings are made from the floorboards of Fushimi Castle from the year 1600 AD. After 11 days of holding off an army of 40,000 from gaining entry to the castle, Tori Mototada and his remaining 380 samurai warriors decided to take their own lives. In 1628, the Swedish warship Vasa sank less than a mile into its maiden voyage. After being recovered from the sea floor, some 333 years later, remarkably, it was almost completely intact. It is now housed at the Vasa Museum in Stockholm and is the world's best preserved 17th century ship. Rarely do archaeologists come across age-old remnants that have survived thousands of years in near-perfect condition. But one such occasion occurred in 1948, when a woman's boot, featuring intricate patterns, was found in Siberia's Altai Mountains. This shoe is believed to be an astonishing 2,300 years old. In 2019, an archaeology intern in Germany discovered a Roman dagger. After nine months of careful restoration work, it became apparent that the iron dagger was in fact encrusted with silver and semi-precious gemstones. A 5,830-year-old Neolithic timber walkway discovered in Somerset, England. It was originally part of a network of tracks built to provide a dry path across the marshy ground. Xadra in Algeria is an ancient ruin that stands out in the middle of an ocean of sand dunes. It was built using a combination of mud brick and stone, making the structure blend into its desert surroundings. Unfortunately, its history has been lost to the sands of time, with very little being known about this historical site. A former law enforcement officer was on vacation in Varna when he noticed an antique-looking stone coffin being used as a table at a beach bar. This table turned out to be a 1,700-year-old Roman sarcophagus. A very well-preserved 3,000-year-old bronze sword was recently discovered in the southern Bavarian town of Nördlingen in Germany. Archaeologists dated the sword to the end of the 14th century BC and noted that sword discoveries from this time and region are rare. During excavations at a Roman temple complex in London, archaeologists discovered a container of Roman face cream. Complete with finger marks, the face cream turned out to be a staggering 2,000 years old. The head of a man with tight curly hair was discovered in Egypt. This artifact was part of a larger statue, which dates back to the second century BC. The head is thought to be a Nubian man and has asymmetrical features with his mouth being twisted somewhat to the right. This Paleolithic decorated cave is known as the Cosca Cave. It is located in France 
and contains numerous cave paintings dating back as far as 27,000 years ago. It has more than 200 parietal figures and is also the only decorated cave whose entrance opens under the sea. In a remarkable archaeological discovery, a series of incredibly preserved oak wood wagons have been unearthed in the Lchashan village in Armenia. These are the oldest known wagons in the world, dating back an incredible 4,000 years. In a series of excavations at the ancient sites of Pompeii and Herculaneum, many carbonized loaves of bread have been discovered, some of them with intact stamps. In these Roman cities, stamped bread would often indicate who baked the bread or who owned it. This ancient statue head was uncovered in an archaeological dig in the ancient city of Isenoi, Turkey. The head is of Dionysus, who is the ancient Greek god of wine. The Hercules armor of the Emperor Maximilian II of Austria. This incredible ceremonial armor was made in 1555 by the Flemish artist Eliseus Libaets. A team of specialists in Romania discovered an entire collection of books, manuscripts, and documents in the archive of the Evangelical Church of St. Margaret in Medias. This completely forgotten archive contained over 100 books, with some dating back to as early as the 9th century. In Korea, a letter was discovered by a woman addressed to her deceased husband. It was found in the man's grave, along with a lock of her hair, and dates back to 1586. The letter says, You always said, Dear, let's live together until our hair turns grey and die on the same day. So how could you pass away without me? A series of Neolithic limestone cult masks, which were discovered in the Judean desert. These stone masks weigh between one to two kilograms apiece and are believed to have been used for ancestor worship. The masks are an incredible 9,000 years old. The Pyramidian from the Pyramid of Amenemhat III. This capstone once crowned the Black Pyramid at Dashur in Egypt. It was crafted around 3,800 years ago. The drawings made by a seven-year-old Russian boy named Onfim, who drew pictures of himself and the people he knew when he got bored while learning to write during the 13th century. In a town just north of Tokyo, a ceramic jar filled with thousands of bronze coins was unearthed at the site of a 15th century samurai's residence. Markings on a wooden tablet found on the rim of the jar indicate it could contain as many as 260,000 coins. And finally, an ancient Roman chariot unearthed almost intact near Pompeii.